Hey guys, it's Mr. Dangerously Reckless here again with another episode of my Armory. And this one's been a while. I've been working on it for over a year. I've lost all the original footage from the stock. But what it is, is GMP M4 Stubby Killer. One of these. Now the rifle, when I got it, I bought it from uh, Evic, paid a decent price for it, was awesome, shooting about 3, 320, 330 out of the box, with a 7.4 volt LiPo, I was only getting about 12 rounds a second, way less than what I had researched, not that big a deal, it sounded whiny as crap, not that big a deal either. But after messing with it for a little bit and taking off the uh, the orange the, uh, tip height or whatever and putting on its silencer, it started giving me some serious trouble on semi. But since I had messed with it and took off the, uh, the tip, voided the warranty, not that big a deal. I'm wanting to learn how to mess with them anyway. This is my first AEG, stepping outside of the gas pistols. Uh, I wanted something that could work in the winter, as well as I could pick up when I'm outgunned, because that's never fun. And I ended up doing a lot to it, pulling it all apart, basically rebuilding it from the inside out, and then the outside. Keeping the stock frame, which is basically what I wanted. And so I ended up doing quite a bit to it which is this. Alright, so we're at the Chrono. It's a uh, 7.4 volt with uh, point twos. So with the highest being about 328 and the lowest 320. Oh, 329, 323. 330, 325. It's uh, pretty consistent. I'm gonna switch. All right, so now we're gonna go for rounds per second with the uh, 7.4 volt. Uh, the burst wizard. It's gonna give me three rounds, but if I hold down the trigger, it goes to full auto. That's uh, 20 rounds. Can't really see it. This backlight on this thing's terrible. And go again. And 20 again. Alright, so all of a sudden my chrono became difficult. But right now I put the 11.1 uh, in here. Same thing, except for sometimes it gives me a double shot on single. And full auto is a five round burst instead because of the power. Uh, let's see what we can get on rounds. Now, I know that's not 14 rounds a second. And I know it's not 16, but you can hear the increase. Uh, I'll probably run a 7.4 just because I like to. And I have more of them. Alright, so... Because you guys are going to want to see, this is the 11.1 volt with the trigger response. And on fully. Rambo. Now I think the battery may be dying. Uh, it's been a while. But yeah, 
It's, it's pretty nice. I likes it. Alright, so we're out back about 65 feet away. <clears throat> Taking a couple pot shots at the target already. But uh, let's see what it does. And see what kind of damage that shit did. Hopefully, I don't step in dog shit in my slippers. The hop up still, it's got some working on it to do. Still breaking in. As you can see, this thing's pretty much destroyed. It's getting a little high. So, this is it. My, uh, First official wrecked armaments rebuild of an AEG. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I learned a lot. It was an experiment. Went through three different barrel lengths and widths, three different gear sets, some short stroking, some, some going back from short stroke, and I like it. It's exactly me. I uh, play the CQB mostly, so I don't need long range. I like my own fours and I like them short. And this pretty much does it. It does everything I want now. I'm happy with it. So, Mr. Reckless, signing out.